Hi and welcome to another WatchGeek video. Just as the title says, today I will show you how you can increase the reception success of your atomic watches. This was an accidental discovery and it happened about 4 weeks ago. The reason why I haven't recorded this video sooner is the fact I was testing the theory because I wanted to be 100% sure it wasn't just a coincidence. As some of you might know, I live at the edge of the range of the German atomic tower. Because of this, my reception results can be dodgy and in the last couple of months, they have really gone bad. I will get 2 to 4 successful receptions per week at most, which is still acceptable as none of my atomic watches drifts away to more than 2 seconds between sinks. But nothing makes me as happy as seeing the RCVD symbol when I strap my watch on in the morning. I also have places in my house where the reception is simply impossible. One such room is my personal den, if we can call it that, and because I never ever got a successful sink in that room, I had to move my watch box to my living room, just to help the atomic part of my collection to at least have a chance of a successful sink. My den is also where I keep my bicycle that I use to commute to work, and that is where our discovery story begins. One day, I came home with my bike and without going into the house, went to mow my lawn. Since I don't like when hot grass sticks to my watches, I took off my GW6900 that I wore to work that day and tied it around the frame of the bike. When I was done mowing, I went into the house and took my bike with me, putting it into the room from hell for atomic watches. The next morning, I took out my bike to go to work and noticed the 6900 dangling on the frame of the bike which made me remember I forgot to take it off. As I took it off and put it on my wrist, I noticed it had the RCVD text on the screen, meaning it had a successful sync the night before. And after checking the get screen, it was the very first attempt at 302. That came to me as a surprise, as like I said, I never ever had a successful sync in that room. Since my commute takes about 15 to 20 minutes, on my way to work, my mind was thinking about what just happened. And then I remembered that Citizen used to sell these signal amplifiers where you place your watch on them and they increase the success rate of your sinks. I realized I may have discovered an alternative amplifier in the form of my bike. So the next 4 weeks I did all kind of testing, with different objects in my house all being metal pipes or tubes, from my bike's handlebar to the frame and the seat post. Then I moved to my pull-up bar that's above my bedroom door. And finally, I used the weight bar that was on my weight bench. I would just let the watches hang from the tube with the faces down or at an angle, so you don't have to lose your time trying to balance them to stay face up like I did the first couple of times. And just make sure you don't put the watch at the very end of the pipe, so there has to be at least a couple of inches of pipe passing on each side. With each of these, I did a series of tests with at least two atomic watches, but mostly with three as I would get them for reviews. And the results were always the same. Whenever I would hang any of these atomic watches on any of these bars or pipes and leave it overnight, the success rate of my sinks was at 100%. And whenever I would place them in that location, but without using bars, the sinking would go back to being dodgy and in the case of the room from hell, it would go back to not being able to sink at all. In that room, I would alternate with my GW6900 and my GWS5600 with having one of them on the bike and one on the sofa next to the bike and each day they would swap places and each day the one on the bike would sink and the one off the bike would fail. For 4 weeks straight, I haven't had a single failed sink of a wash that was placed on my bike, my weight bar or my pull up bar. And these were all overnight sinks. Daytime sinks were still impossible, meaning the amplification was simply not strong enough to compensate for that as well. But considering my location, it's no wonder. I even contacted a Portal Satova forum member who bought a rangeman from me last year and told me he has been having trouble sinking it for the last couple of months. He did the same test and whenever he would use a metal pipe to hang the watch on, it would sink successfully, while off it, it would fail. So there you have it. Try any kind of metal tube or pipe and see if it helps you the way it helped me.
This might be useful to a lot of people, not just the ones who live at the edge of reception, as I know people who are well within range but live in places that have so much interference they struggle to have a successful sink. Sadly, lack of time and materials, as well as the fact my pull-up bar has become the perfect resting place for all my atomics, as I just grabbed the one I want to wear that day, has made me lazy to experiment further. But I do think there's a lot to be discovered, like experimenting with different shapes, different diameters, and lengths of the pipes. Also materials, I used steel and aluminium, but maybe copper might be even better. So consider this video a start and maybe some of you guys can pick up on it and find the most efficient and most successful amplifier for atomic watches. This is still not guaranteed to help you as you might simply be too far or interference might be too strong. But you have nothing to lose if you try it and have a lot to gain if it works. Well that's pretty much it, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found the video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and until the next video, bye.